from around the county and inside our schools. This is BTV News. Welcome to BTV News. I'm Carson Hughes. And I'm Mary Ashley Hughes. We're here at our TV production studio at the South Ball Center for Dynology to bring you today's news. The Special Olympics was held in Fairhope two weeks ago. Thousands of athletes and volunteers from Baldwin County participated. Damon Bebo takes a look at just how special the Special Olympics is. Dozens of schools and hundreds of athletes from all over Baldwin participated in Friday's Special Olympics event. The event was kicked off by a parade in which students carried their school spirit banners. That was followed by the athletes participating in a torch relay with the support of law enforcement. The three activities that really stood out to attendees were the 50-yard run, the wheelchair races, and the long toss. Terry Polk, a teacher of Robert Stowe High School, told us how this event has a special place in her heart. When I, well, when I see the kids um, be excited and be so happy oh, and God. everything and doing stuff oh, that, no, I, you know, uh, makes them happy, it just makes me happy and fills my heart. Superintendent Eddie Tyler attended the event. He told us that the event seeks to help students learn and grow. That's what I'm talking about. All right. It's about children. And the thing about these children is, it helps make them feel more special just as an individual. The Special Olympics event was a huge success, bringing many people together in support of many athletes. Dan Mabibo, BTV News, Fairhope. All those athletes at the Special Olympics probably worked up a good appetite. The Optimist Club of Pernito Bay prepared a delicious lunch for the student athletes. Brian Zavaleta lets us know what's on the menu. The Optimist Club of Pernito Bay helps the Special Olympics by feeding over 540 people. We'll serve 545 meals today in the span of less than an hour. The club had a lot of work to do to get the food ready. Well, it starts out with uh, about a month before uh, the Whitehurst, Liz Whitehurst works at the cafeteria at the Foley High School and she brings boxes in. And I take the boxes and take the takeout boxes and see how many will, will fit in a box and we size them that way so that when we get the list from the school it tells us how many class members there are or how many students or adults and then we can uh, assign the boxes accordingly. Uh, ours has over the years uh, uh, gravitated towards the special needs. We do a, a Christmas program for them which is one of the most rewarding things that we do. Uh, we do the, the uh, Special Olympics feed here. Uh, it's just, we do what we can for the special needs classes. The club say this is a special event for them. We not only fed the kids and the adults who participated, we also were inside and helped take kids around different activities and be involved in the award ceremony. You know, so this is a special event for us. Just a few more weeks left in our school year. Every year at this time, we like to highlight some of the top seniors here at SBCT. Leo Figueroa takes a look at one of the, our seniors from welding. My name is Kyle Walsh. I've been taking this class for uh, two years now. A seminar at my school, somebody came down talking about the trade school and I thought it would be a good way to um, possibly what I could do. I thought about taking fire science, maybe culinary. I, didn't, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. It's really, it has uh, almost changed my life, you know. Uh, it set me up for a good career path, you know. I'm gonna be able to get a job when I get out of here. I hope this will take me to uh, where I wanna live, maybe, uh, you know, just open new opportunities. Uh, yes, I have, because it's taught me, uh, you know, valuable skills to uh, help me out in, uh, later in life and uh, pursue my dreams. It's uh, a good way to start uh, right out of high school to make money and uh, get a job without going to high uh, college, I mean, and uh, have to pay a big uh, tuition. I find Mr. Baswell more as a mentor because he neither uh, gets on to you, he just more shows you how you're supposed to do it. 
other than I just recommend it and it's changed my life and uh, I really hope that it's uh, others can uh, have a learning experience from this. Here at BTV News, we would like to bring you up to date on what's happening in the entertainment world. A couple of huge concerts are coming to the coast, and a blockbuster movie opens in just two weeks. Hangout is back in session for its eighth year in a row. There are many bands coming this year such as Foster the People, Kendrick Lamar, The Killers, and The Chainsmokers, and more. The festival is set to be May 18th through the 20th in Gulf Shores. There will be music, games, food, and more festivities. Tickets are on sale now. You can buy them through their official website, www.hangoutmusicfest.com. Avengers Assemble and another movie coming out later this month. Avengers Infinity War comes out April 27th, a week earlier than the initial release date. They reunite for their toughest fight yet. The Avengers are not fighting this battle alone, however. The Guardians of the Galaxy join forces with the Avengers to stop the villainous Thanos from getting the Infinity Stones. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Grammy-winning rock band Imagine Dragons will be shaking the wharf this August. The band will be playing at, in Orange Beach at the wharf on August 7th. This will be part of the Evolve World Tour, which features Gra Grace Vanderval as a special guest. Tickets for the concert went on sale on March 3rd at 10 a.m. for around $108 for general pit admission. The door will be open for the concert at 7 p.m. Be sure to be there to see them live. I don't know about you, Carson, but I am so ready to see Foster the People at Hangout. Can we just talk about the killers? Oh, Mr. Yes. Brightside, live, iconic. Yes. How about that new Avengers movie? Oh, yes, I am so ready. I'm ready for the Avengers to team back up and assemble and take on Thanos. I'm ready to see Bucky fight alongside the Avengers now and instead of, like, against them. That's all we have for this week on BTV News. I'm Carson Hughes. And I'm Mary Ashley Hughes. We hope you enjoyed our show. If you did, then come back and see us next time.